Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Monday the 29th of April. At the end of Hebrews chapter 4, we read in verse 16, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. This encouragement to approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Now, the, the letter is written to the Hebrew people who had the Old Testament, and they had all the covenant stipulations and the rules, and they knew what, what, what the, the sacrifices were, and they knew about offering uh, the, the sacrifice of atonement, the Day of Atonement each year, and the high priest could only do it, and you had to do it with blood. And there were all these regulations about approaching God. And nobody could approach God other than the high priest and only at a certain time and only with certain sacrifices and only with blood and the whole thing. God was, was this distance. And there was a way of coming, but it never actually got you there. And here the writer says, now let us, let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence, knowing that he is there and he hears us and he's waiting for us. And we do this because of Christ. We take it back in uh, two verses and we say, therefore, since we have a great high priest, who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. So we have a high priest who's gone into heaven. Not once a year, he, that's where he is. And we can uh, therefore have confidence in him. This is a faith we profess, that Jesus is there for us. And the writer continues, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to feel sympathy for our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. And so we have a high priest who's not just a, a title and a position, but somebody that, that, that knows and understands, a high priest that, that knows what we're going through, that has been tempted in every way, yet without sin. We're tempted in all sorts of ways, and we inevitably fail and fall time and again. And that we have a high priest who knows, who understands, who can relate to that, um, and it can open the way for us. And therefore, because we have a faith in this high priest, we can approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Not confidence in ourselves, not because we, we think we're special or because I've got something right or because I've there are any boxes I've ticked. We approach with confidence in Christ because Christ has gone to the throne of God. God, he's right there. And he said that he's our brother, he's our friend, he's our representative um, he understands, he knows us. And that's the, the, the great truth of, of the faith. We have a, a, a saviour who is fully human, understanding everything about our humanity, and fully God, so he can be in God's presence with impunity. And that is who we approach this throne of grace through. And we know as we do that, he says we will find mercy and grace to help us. So be encouraged to, to go to God in prayer, to approach the throne of grace not because we deserve it, but because we are loved. Um, and we hang on to that love and we hang on to Jesus as we approach God's throne of grace for the help we need and the mercy we need. Be blessed.